everyone in today's video we will learn about the is blank function in power bi so for example if you've got a certain column which has blanks and you don't want those blanks you could filter that data out using the is blank function so i've got this file here which is dim customer but the email address for some of the customers is blank so i want to substitute that with another email address and we'll use the is blank function for that i've already uploaded this file to github and the name of the file is 2017-11-24 you can download this file and do the tutorial with me so what we'll do is we will just say so we'll go to the modeling tab and we'll create a new column and we'll call this default email address So the first thing we need to do is we need to identify whether uh, an email address is blank or not. So we'll just say is blank and say it checks whether a value is blank and returns true or false. So we'll just say is blank and we'll say email address. If we scroll to the right, you can see that it's true for this customer the email address is blank and it's giving me a true here and as we keep scrolling down you'll see the default email address is also false um, but what we want to do is we want to put in a default email address so for that we will use an if function if this returns a true that the email address is blank we'll just say call it otherwise we'll just use the email address and close the bracket and hit enter and now if I scroll to the right See, we've got a default address at adventureworks.com. And as we keep scrolling, you can see that when we have an address, it doesn't uh, substitute that. So in this video, we learned how to handle uh, blanks using the isBlank function. And further on, we uh, replace the blanks with some values uh, that made sense to us. Uh, I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thank you.